This video will show how we link files like AutoCAD files to Revit in order to use them to build a Revit model out of a two-dimensional drawing like AutoCAD. First, we're going to start with a new model, and then we would like to select the architecture template since we are doing an architectural project. We want to make sure that we have project selected and not project template because we are not creating a template for future projects. We are just creating a new project. Once we've created that, then we would go to the Insert tab at the top toolbar in the upper left-hand corner. Here you can see that we can link multiple types of files like other Revit files, which is typically what we do with our site plan in order to have a three-dimensional site but have it separate from our building because the files can get very large and can make them crash a lot and a little hard to handle. We can also link CAD files, like an AutoCAD file that we're going to want to link from your old studio project so you can build your Revit model using your two-dimensional drawings. We can also link topography files, and we can import files, but if we import an AutoCAD file, we can't change it. Whereas if we link it, whenever changes are made to that AutoCAD file, they will get updated in the Revit project. This is great when we're working with consultants who might use AutoCAD or Revit, and then we bring their drawings in in order to make our architectural drawings. We can also insert different file types, PDFs, and even images, which can be helpful for different things as we're working on a project in Revit. But today we're just going to link a CAD file. So we click on the link, CAD link, and then you see here I've already got an AutoCAD file that's ready to go, so I'm going to click on that and I can even see the file in the preview window. I don't want to change any of these options here because there's no reason to change any of them and it will bring it directly into the level that I'm looking for. We see here that we can place it on different levels, but the only level it's letting us use is level 1, which is the bottom of the building. We typically don't want to place building drawings on the site level. We want to do that for topography plans to help us build the topography, which will be another tutorial. So now that we've got that file selected, we want to hit open. And you can see now that level 1 is highlighted here in the upper right hand corner. So that means that this AutoCAD file was then placed in the Revit project. It is basically um, one file together so you can't change anything from here again because it's linking to the original file but with something like this I can now use it to start to build the project with walls and windows in Revit. In future tutorials we will talk about how to start adding the walls and windows so that you can build your studio project.